Welcome back. Right now at 530, executives at CATS are talking to Charlotte leaders about how the agency is improving safety on the rail line. Thanks for coming back at 530. I'm Colin Mayfield. And I'm Vanessa Rufus. This latest update comes after CATS had announced there was another train derailment that happened about a week ago. No passengers on board at that time. The operator wasn't injured, but we're told human error was to blame here. WCNC Charlotte's Kaylin Hagwood has been speaking with transportation leaders. What sort of update did they give you today? Well, transportation leaders feel they're good about the progress that they've made on the CATS light rail system. And with more staff now on board, they're hoping over time and with more experience to get that number of derailments down to zero. Efforts to improve safety on CATS rail lines remains a work in progress. This after another train derailment was reported last Tuesday. Not the only issue, Charlotteans say they're hoping to see change. Oh yeah, that and then watching last night somebody driving a truck down the blue line. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. In a meeting with Charlotte's Transportation Planning and Development Committee, CATS interim CEO Brent Cagle discussed the derailment and efforts to improve safety on the transit system overall. He says the train was traveling at low speed around 2.30 in the morning in the yard where trains are stored. Based on uh, statements in the preliminary investigation, uh, this derailment is attributable to human error or operator error. Cagle says they're making improvements. He believes better lighting and additional time for new staff members to learn the ropes will help. These are operators with four, six, eight months of experience, and they're learning um, and operating in the yard. We think that all of these things together could be leading to a higher, um, higher rate of, of yard incidences. <laughs> Despite the challenges, Transportation Committee Chair Ed Driggs says the system is in a better position than months past. We have now scheduled all the trains for maintenance. We've increased pay. We're recruiting heavily. We've got staffing levels up now to where uh, we don't need as much overtime as we did before. Good news. Any efforts to improve uh, the safety for public is, is definitely great, greatly appreciated. And while they're working on the issue internally, Kegel is hoping to assure passengers the trains are safe to ride. And Councilman Driggs tells me that they tend to keep more experienced operators working busy rail lines that have passengers. Kaylin Hagwood, WCNC Charlotte.